Alright y'all, we're we'll about to embark on a crazy, crazy decline here. You alright? I'm feeling okay. I'm worried about the blood, but I don't know. Dude, a big rock smacked your head. Yeah, we're gonna out. Hey! Hey! Yes, yes! I mean, supposedly, and is very fucking scenic. Yeah. Yeah, let's just hope uh, our chill isn't ruined by like a police or state trooper. Oh, this juice is hard. Damn. It blocks the wind, right? It blocks yeah, the wind, too. traps everything. If we want to get colder, we can unzip these windows. Nope. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 don't touch it. Okay, well, Keep your finger away. I, I like the warmth, don't worry. I want to <laughs> be sweating in here with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> So we're officially on day three of the Big Sur series. And it was a tough night last night, sleeping through the hard winds. Hello world. Wow. Ugh. Rich, did we, did we die yesterday? Oh my God, I think this is heaven. Did the wind kill us? Cause I think we're, <laughs> we I think that's what happened. off the cliff. Yeah, right? <laughs> you know, I was actually kind of worried about that last night. The wind was so strong. Thank God we had to put in these stakes because I thought we were going to get blown off. Dude, I really thought it. Like, um, so last night, really, really, really windy. Like, I had so much anxiety, just like, I couldn't even sleep because I just felt like we really were going to get blown off the, the this cliff. Wait, really? And I'm just trying to think how high the fall was going to be. <laughs> anything that was like hitting my mind and like originally i was supposed to wake up for sunrise originally wake up for sunrise but it was just like literally all over but creek a crack of this and i was just like dude fuck this way i didn't do it i need the rest it's 12 o'clock now right it's like noon it's noon rack's been up for three hours helping prep everything together clean the cast iron uh got everything ready just didn't cook breakfast, but that's okay. We. That's okay, he'll do that later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I just caught this like cool lizard guy on my way back to the car. And, oh, you got a blue belly. Oh, okay, okay, goodbye guy. Actually, let me get him back. Oh. Oh, maybe not. Oh, oh. Okay, he's gone. Whatever. See ya, lizard. The sleepy heads are still in bed. Sleeping the night away. The day away. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get them up today. Apparently they just all couldn't sleep because of the wind. That was thrashing. That was... Apparently they all couldn't swim because of the wind that was thrashing their tent around in the middle of the night. So this is our life. What to do? What to do? What to do? Ah, wonderful. Oh God. If I fall in, that's the end. It's the end of everything. Oh, that is some cold water. Oh man, this is disgusting. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wash it. Oh. So what's so good about this is sand has grit and you can actually wash off most of the grease with it just by rubbing it around. It should just peel right off. If John and Rich saw me doing this, they would be like, bro, this guy's capping. Like, they would think I'm crazy. But this is just the way it's done. <laughs> There's no room to cook here with this tent here. It takes up like the entire uh, spot we have. I know, Radic. 
Can, I we, know. can we do the cooking like over to the left where the tripod is so oh, we can yeah, get a time could. lapse of it? Yeah, we And could. then, and then we take the plates and everything, yeah. bring it inside the tent, and, and then eat. we all eat it inside the inside tent the here. Tent? Actually, or we just, we just stand around and eat. This. I think we should just stand around or bring our chairs out. I was thinking, oh, you want to bring the chairs over? That's actually, here? yeah, we do the chairs. Okay. Yeah. Fuck it. Yo, John, you really thought we were going to get blown over last night? Yeah. We both we really did. Thought. We both did. The wind was that strong. Rex, we're not, we're not like. We're not mountain men like you. Yeah. <laughs> we, you think, you think I've slept outside for many years of my life? No. <laughs> This is my first time. You're a bougie LA boy and sleeps in a nice house. Yes. <laughs> and I've never slept by the waves. Those things are loud. They are so calming to sleep to. I like the waves. Yeah. They were nice. The wind did wake me up, but then I just got used to it and fell asleep. Yeah, I know. And it was strong, but I'm like, I'm not, we're not going to fly off. Because it wasn't that strong. Not yet. Like, the tent wasn't moving. Mm. Like, it wasn't lifting off the ground. I swear to God, that like, tent. The wind sounded like it should have. I feel that thing was moving off the ground. I sat there for hours just listening to it. I think you're just scared and not used to the feeling. Yes. <laughs> this is gonna break you free, John. I've done a lot of car camping. Yeah, yeah. But I've never done a lot of actual camping. Yeah. It's like two really different things. I feel like with camping, I feel more vulnerable. Yeah, well, mm. what's more comfortable? So Maybe. it's. I think car camping could be comfortable really? too. Depends how you do it. But I'm used to it. I've, I've slept through it peacefully. This, yeah. I just feel like anyone can walk up on me and That's do true. anything. Can, like yeah. the whole night, I just felt like someone was just gonna poke the <laughs> hand through the tent. The whole night, I was thinking someone was gonna steal my Star Labs cameras. <laughs> Actually, people are nice out here. They it's are, like they are. It's just like families with kids. Yeah, it's just like in the back of my head, I'm like, that's why I woke up at, what was it, 5, 6 a.m. in the morning to go get them, because I just, well, first off, the wind was too loud, so I couldn't yeah. sleep anyway. So I'm yeah. like, fuck it, might as well just do something productive. But like, yeah, like, I don't know. I need that peace of mind. Yeah, no. I need that peace of mind. It's true. That's when why a house keeps a you peace of car, mind. You're, yeah, locked car, locked house. You're a wind is not going to push a car off the mountain. Yeah, that too. <laughs> a wind is not going to, you know, a car, you're just more secured. But it's cool to get the camping experience. I just have to get used to it. Well, it is a really cool experience. One more night. One more night. Finally. Come on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I could do this for a week. I could. I could do this for a while. I could do it. I could do it for if a while. If you're if you're one spot, it would be easier. But yeah. Like, We're pitching up and packing back up. Yeah, that's a, that's really day. exhausting. Yeah, it's exhausting yeah. work. It takes a while too. Well, I guess we should get ready to eat some breakfast. Right. Yeah. <coughs> Brekkie. I'll, uh, I'll leave the, uh, the mattresses and bag, sleeping bags up to you. I'll we'll bring take the, care of the tent. I'll bring you the, take care of the food. I'll bring the cooler okay. and the chairs. Okay. Oh, I'm also gonna change into new clothes. Oh, I did that this morning. I was fully naked in my sleeping bag. Oh, <laughs> oh, all right. I need to do a tick check. Just to be sure. So this entire series is a full expression of the entire trip. Just capturing all these moments to share it with you guys. It's also been such a long time dream of mine to visit this place. Coming from a young kid who wanted to explore the Big Sur back in high school. And this is how it all played out. This is just my day to day getting ready routine right now. I mean, only two days left of this. Uh, we camped out in, on the beach today. We camped out at a closed state park yesterday. Tonight, they want to go back to that state park and camp there for the very last time. They really liked it. I actually kind of like this better because like the view you wake up to. So it's, it's cool, but it's just a total vibe to you know, come out here and experience this. Plus, it's something I really have to appreciate and get more used to because I'm so used to sleeping you know, on my own bed having a house over my head, having a roof. Out here, you're out there just camping and you're hearing sounds and stuff like that. For me, I'm not used to like hearing so much sounds. I like to sleep in dark and complete silence, you know? And also having a pillow, which I didn't have on this trip. So I know that would have really helped me out. But don't get me wrong, this whole experience, I'm really loving it. And 29 years old, and this is like actually the first time I really got to experience something fully like this. I'm still taking in, I, I woke up to this today. It's pretty dope.
it up. Yes, sir. We got another meal by the beach. Where did we have a meal last time? We had burger by the beach yesterday. Yeah. And then s'mores. S'mores at the state park. Yeah. This this is a vibe. Yup. Shit, this is dope. Ooh. All right, guys. We are having avocado bacon toast, but with the avocado seed, we're gonna try to plant an avocado tree here oh my on this God. beach in Big Sur. We'll come back 20, 30 years later <laughs> and see what's up. <laughs> All right, ready? That's awesome. All right, got this little guy somewhere in the midst of this. It will grow. It will blossom into a beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Tree, cut that tree. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere there, blossom into. Dude, this would probably be like the biggest tree that grows out here. It is from the avocado. Is it put it away? Damn. Alright, right, boys. Cheers. Cheers. Aguacate toast. Oh my god. You just cooked it in a fat? Toast is so good. Run! You will eat that, I will. It's eatable. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't ask for a more amazing experience to document this entire experience with Radic and Rich. Traveling with these guys has been so fun, but also very suspenseful, and you will see. But the great thing is just all these memories captured together. Well guys, so we're wrapping it up. How do you guys feel about this experience? So far it's been great. We've camped on a cliffside, had avocado bacon toast in the morning. Oh, literally. Fell to the sound of the waves and then the wind, but the waves is like a nice white noise to me. Yeah. I mean, to me, I'm not used to it, but it's like white noise. I'm just so used to sleeping peace and quiet but I think this is something I should definitely get used to because if you really think about it, you know you get through the the sleeping portion of it and you wake up to this this really changes the experience of things what about you Radic? I mean I had a great rest so I woke up early <laughs> and walked around caught some lizards and like the view waking up seeing the waves and the sun on the water was so good like you can't really beat this you really can and like this is just one of those experiences where you can only like I want to say you only can get out here, but everywhere has their own unique type of yeah. scenery. So everywhere you will always get a different experience, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing. And every day will actually be a different experience because you never know what you'll come across. Who knows? Maybe the other night we could have came across a mountain lion. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's right. That's right. So like this. Yeah. yeah. Tonight we could have been woken up by a police officer saying we can't camp here. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We got lucky too. We keep getting lucky. We do yeah. keep getting lucky. Keep walking out. Yeah. But it's honestly been an amazing experience with these guys and I've never done a trip like this with un none of these guys before so this is actually really cool to, to experience and really take in but now we're going to be starting to pack up the tent and make our way down to the Big Sur after 10 hours now. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Hey, oh boy. Driving. There's more to come so let's do it. Alright, let's get, let's get packing guys. I've never done this before. I've never used Wait, it. you're gonna put a condom in the you wind to blow the, it up? You brought the condom just for this. Oh my oh god. scenic vibe and the scenery all around here. This is really dope. So, 
Made to our first destination at the Big Sur, Makeway Falls. I think this is, might be that Laguna area that we would be seeing from a distance. Um, from the photos, this place I always want to get a picture at, or a picture at of, so. The homies, pack up the gear, get everything ready, and make our way. Actually, you know what would be good right now? What? A granola bar. Mm -hmm. Woo! Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Cookie mania? Mm -hmm. <gasps> I found my magnet from DJI Mike. Oh my god. How the fuck did it get there? <laughs> what the hell? It was on the car the whole time. Oh, it's Bro. so on there though. Oh my god, I can't even move it. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Wow. Ow. Like a little tunnel. Walkway to make Makeway Falls right now. Is it called Mickway Falls? Yeah, Mickway. Mickway. Wow. So my mic is no Whoa, echoes! Echo! On the Big Sur adventure for today, day three. Day three is the Mickway Falls. <laughs> Mick Falls. So this is a place I've been seeing all over the pictures. So this is the picture I've been seeing for the longest time that kind of motivated me to want to come here. Um, it's a little underwhelming because like obviously it's nice. There's no one on the beach itself, so it's cool. Just the only thing about it is you can only view it from up here with all the other tourists and everything. That's that's the only thing that kinda blows. I don't know how you get back up though. Dude, that's dope. Imagine being on that rock on the little island. The only thing that kinda sucks is the picture I've seen all this time. It's a bit of an underwhelming experience. I mean, I get it. That's how the picture is taken, but just the tourists and everything kind of takes away from the experience. A little. I think so. A little underwhelming looking you at got a... Um, It's a little underwhelming up here. I feel yeah. like if we were down there, we could go underneath it and get like a nice shower and yeah, the waterfall. Let's do with the waterfall, that'd be a yeah. dope shower. I mean, this is a cool view of it for sure. Yeah. For photos like of nature and stuff, but it would be cool to be like, in it like yeah. have a more intimate moment with the nature down there i definitely agree with that it's like being up here you're just looking down at it, well, it just makes you want to be down there oh, i no. agree you agree <laughs> i agree it would be if we can get down there this is like a 10 out of 10 experience yeah but since we can eh, five out of ten yeah <laughs> it's more just a tease it's such a tease it's like the view and everything is amazing don't get me wrong i love this view it's beautiful <laughs> dude definitely not worth it and that's the i don't know it's the thing with being with the tourists like this kind of huh? like being with all the other tourists like, <laughs> no, you not mean if we're down there or up here like if we're not with up everyone here, yeah it's you not know? Worth it. yeah yeah that's, that's a different too. experience like us solo down there be a big you can even be under the uh, waterfall. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you could even cross over if you wanted to. Right? Yeah. Man. Dude, I feel like we should try it. Everything else we would do is pretty basic anyway. What if we yeah. just go around to that path and just... Yeah. Well, let's just scope it out. Let's go check see. it out. Let's go check it out. Now we embark on our adventure, trying to make our way down. And things really, really did not go as planned. I will not add any music or effects to showcase this experience as raw as possible. Alright, mission attempt. Okay, you guys ready for this little adventure we have? Yeah. Oh, I should just wear my bathing suit for the whole thing, right? That's what I'm doing. Okay. The beaches. See if we can make do and make this happen. It would be amazing if we can actually do this, but that would actually probably make this trip the best We've trip. Some, we've done some crazy things before. Yeah. So we're gonna try out with this spot right here. This is um 
we're in a pullover spot we could go to and we're gonna try to see if we just walk past and find a way in overall though the view is fucking sick oh my god Yo. the only downside about doing all of this is i don't know how to swim <laughs> But we'll see when we get there how it all looks. Oh! Lizard! Yeah. Actually, wherever we're going, this is actually a dope area. I saw an animal. Let's see if we're going on someone. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hey there. Hello. Oh, that looks great. You guys are vibing it. <laughs> I wonder. I think that's. Yeah. I think that's their truck. Their truck. Beautiful. Yeah. Let's take a look. Scope it out. Oh, this is a rock, isn't it? Wait, this is... Oh, God. Whoa. That's the way. Yeah, that is the way. Wait, where? Across this ridge right here, then down. Bro. I think we gotta do it. I think we gotta do it. I think we got it. I'm just gonna look for a moment while you guys do it, but I'll, I'll see if I can do it. Really? Oh, that was built by people. That's man made. Yeah. This is sketch. Oh my, oh my god, this is beautiful. Huh? Yeah, this is doable. What is it? Doable. Oh, you have to win over there. No, 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 no. Can we make it down these rocks? It's not that stupid. Oh, yeah, no, we can. It's kind of the yeah. way to go through the I'm just around. saying over there, it's going to be a lot. Right there, we ought to swim around. Ah, uh, only well, you got the camera for that, man. Oh, boy. I didn't bring the oh, house. This boy. is actually housing doable, too, for me. I don't know how deep it is. We might be able to raise it. Yeah. That's too risky for me. Yeah, I could. Well, we, we've lost stuff over here. I could, but the thing is, the ocean, man, it's not like swimming in a okay, lake. Okay, we have one camera. That's good. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And we can also do some stuff on the beach there. Why? Wait, so where is the beach? It's right around that rock. The oh. waterfalls. Like, you see the trail right there? Oh. That's the, the close-off trail where the tourists were. Okay. And then that rock is, honestly, it's not super steep. And if you can see the man-made trail right there. There we go. Uh. This spot's kind of sketchy, to be honest. Uh. This might actually fall. This, this rod is really shaky. Dude, yeah, look at this. I wouldn't. This is really true. I don't know, man. You don't know, John? I'm gonna make sure you guys go down. <laughs> No, it does not. Holy shit! Holy shit! Actually, <laughs> never mind.
Oh my god. Yo, you okay? Yeah. You alright? Oh shit, I'm bleeding. Oh shit, yeah. Dude, a big rock smacked your head. Oh my god. Yeah, we gotta get him out. Alright. What's that rope on me, man? Fuck. You're bleeding a lot. You got a big. That rock really hit your head. It really hit your head, dude. Wait, wait. Watch out, Radic, before you go down. Can you get here? Down here and then take my backpack up? If you can get over there safely, but those rocks are eroding too. That dirt's about to crumble. You're right. But I'm gonna try. Dude, don't go over there. Don't, don't go over there. Fuck, I'm trying. Hold on, let me see. Rich, wait over here. Wait, just wait. I'm gonna go ask the guy if he has anything to help. I knew it wasn't gonna be a good idea. That's why I didn't want to go. Damn, Rich's head's bleeding now. Fuck. How heavy is your backpack? Pretty. This is a pretty strong roof. Still. Bro, I can't let go of this, alright? Well. Can you hook your feet around it? This? There's nothing. No, like around that. my backpack. And pull it up to your no, hand? No, no. no. Uh. Hey, excuse me, guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys got rope? <laughs> Do you guys have any rope? Not like a good one? I see. Yeah, he got stuck. <laughs> Already. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I was. I, trust me. I saw them going for it. I was like, dude, I don't know if I'm going to do this. I don't want to. Okay, thank you, thank you. Sorry? Yeah, I'm gonna let him know just to stay where he is. Fucking shit. Oh my god. I'm feeling okay. I'm worried about the blood, but I don't know. Yeah, you don't feel like you're losing conscious or anything? I don't think so. It's probably the adrenaline though. Jesus Christ. Wow. Who would have known? Yeah, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna be broke. Yeah. How did you feel when you went down? Huh? So when you went down from there, you just slid. Yeah. We need... This is a note to self to buy hiking shoes. Yeah, that's why other half me was like, Air Force is not sneakers. gonna do the trick. I don't Fuck. think it was hiking shoes. The ground is really eroding. So and the ground's eroding. Hiking shoes don't help. They just fall. Wherever you are, you could that whole thing could fall down too. Yeah. If we were to actually do this and succeed, we would need rope, tie it down on the roots, and bring it down there. Then we could actually shimmy our way down to the flat ground. We'd be fine. But we could but, throw a rope down. Yeah. Yeah, but from the way it looks like, doing this without Dude, a rope. Dude, but how can we even trust putting a rope on that? I put a rope on this. Yeah, but the, the way down here is easier, and it'll give you more support for it. You see how you can like yeah put your back, lean your back out, and you yeah put your plant your feet in, and you can actually make it up and down. No problem, but we don't have any supplies to actually help us get there safely. Shit, he's at a corner too. Yeah. Easily hits there, he'll fall down there. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is actually really not good. No, not good at all. Haha. <laughs> 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 I got an idea, I got an idea. Pull the backpack? Yeah. Fuck the bag. We have to. Nah, dude, I can't fuck this bag. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh. I didn't I think, think it was going to be at the very beginning. Well, this beginning is definitely the harder part. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Did you feel the rock hit your head? Oh yeah. Did, Did you like lose conscious though. for a second? No? No. 
Yeah, Luckily, if I lost consciousness, I'd probably be dead right now. True. That is true. Oh, smart. Come on, Radix coming. Can we really trust this wood? Though? As long as he doesn't bend it, it'll be fine. It'll support him long ways. Let me if, see. He, Let me if he see. bends it, hold on. There's a lot of sharp shit on it. I don't want to cut himself more. Back onto it. Uh, you see the hook? No, 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 I can't. Can't put too much pressure on that. Oh, okay. oh careful, careful. Possible. It looks a little weak though. Oh man. Oh, I fucked up. I hope I'm not still losing blood. I can't check what the position I'm in. Yo, can we stop talking about that? Can we try to get this bag up? Yeah. My legs are kind of... What about your legs? I need to face. This is the shot. Get it, John. Control hand. You got it? I have more. I have more. I have more. I have more. Not hooked. Not hooked at all. Um, I I would honestly do it on the smaller. That's not hooked, bro. That's not hooked. At all. Not hooked at all. Not hooked at all. Undo it. Oh, undo it. Undo it. Oh my God. Move the stick. <sighs> That's what I'm thinking. I feel like I can do it, but... What if I do this? Hold on, I have an idea. I'm gonna dig. Oh guys. Guys. Guys, I'm going for it. Huh? You're gonna go for it. Can you pass me the root maybe? Which one? The stronger one. This one? Hold on. Huh? That's what we should bring with us from now on. I'm so sorry. I'm it's, so scary. No, it's, yeah. we, we knew what we were getting ourselves into. Yeah. <laughs> we just wish we approached it in a I'm safer glad way. I'm okay, though. Yeah. That's the most important thing. Okay, so yeah. here's a little more, but let's not throw it down yet. Yeah, yep. more reach, yeah. Quick vlog, because they're actually going to save me now. I'm okay. But... Actually, I'm gonna save the talking for later. A giant rock just smacked him right in the face. But we got a lady with a hammock and she's gonna. She's literally saving us. Try your best to climb up it and just like support and everything else. Just like in Stairway to Heaven. You got this. Same thing as that hike. 
Man, that ground is not Fuck. sturdy at all. That's why we all messed up. Oh my we God. just made it look easy, ah. but I swear that was a hard. Yep. That was a hard one. Right here, right here. Yep, right here, right here. Yeah, yeah. Damn, there's like nowhere to put. You got it. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Okay, you thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Oh, Kelly, 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 thank you. Kelly, you just Kelly, saved Rich's like right life. <laughs> now my friends won't risk their lives. Don't shit. <laughs> what do you mean? We're still gonna do <laughs> stuff like this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my god, dude, that was pretty sketch. I need flat ground. That was the most sketch <gasps> thing. Oh my god. <sighs> <sighs> You all right? Jesus Christ, How much am I bleeding? Oh my gosh, a lot. <sighs> a lot. Shit. Do you have any uh, med kits or any bandages? Yeah, yeah, we have. Oh, thanks. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you hear? How do I look? You look pretty. You look pretty bloody, man. Yeah, you, you look got, really you got bloody. Blood on your shirt. Can you turn the screen you over? Yeah, blood on your you face. Look yeah, here. Intense. <laughs> <laughs> I like co-boarding oh more. Yeah. <gasps> Dude, so it's coming. That that it's coming from right yeah. here. Cause you got really, you got hit by a boulder, man. Yeah, you got hit by a boulder. Oh, yeah. yeah, that thing was big. Oh, it's actually. Oh, a, yeah. Holy shit! How bad? Oh. Yeah. Okay, that's not too bad. That's that's pretty wow. shallow. Yeah. yeah. That's shallow, but it is. It's took some skin off. No, sure. it's a little cut. You might. Cut. You might need it a stitch. A cut. Yeah. Really. But it's not deep. It's not okay. deep. Okay. Oh wow. Huh? How do you feel? I'm looking at the the, the thing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you got messed up, man. Okay, I have food and you water. You went in guns blazing white. a little too hard. Up, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much, Kelly. Oh my god. Dude. <sighs> god. Alright, let's, let's go, Radic. Dude, I have no words. Dude, was that the closest? Alright, next time we attempt this, we're bringing both. Yeah. And we're keeping down safely. Uh, let's get down yeah. to, let's get down over there, so we're in the bear area. Wow. We thinking life a Dude, little you bit. Have, like, you have like dust on your teeth. Yeah. Jesus really? Christ. Yeah, you see it? Yeah. Oh yeah, shit. Lick it off. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to. Yeah, you are. Wow, oh, like we literally right. almost lost Rich today. Yeah. If With that, dude, I thought when that rock hit his head, it was over for him. Me too. I thought you were going all the way down. And I'm like, when that rock hit my head, my like body went into like shock. No, the opposite of shock, like adrenaline overload. Because oh. I was like, oh shit, that hurt, and I'm falling. Grab onto something. It all happened so fast, I don't know. Yeah. I... Hey, at least you reacted and you jumped onto those rocks on the side. Because that, yeah. that saved your life. If you kept falling, you would have yeah. went into the water. Easily. And I know you're not a good swimmer. I would have died in that current or yeah. that whatever that was down there. Yeah, that's really hard to swim in. Sure you have to like... This is like a sign to your life. This is a sign for yeah. me. This is time to take I think, it slow. Uh, take it slow. Take it slow. Let's go I down there. I might be done with climbing. They'll, they'll get <laughs> well, that's what I was worried. That's why I was kind of like, yeah. guys, could you hurry up with the backpack? Because I don't know how long this adrenaline will last. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't want one of you guys to fall down there with me. Yeah, that that's was... so good. Anything I'm done climbing for this trip? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So, I'm alive. So remember what I said before, uh, if we, if either we get down there or not, it's gonna be an adventure either way. Yeah. Well, that was an adventure. That's true, this that was, an, was adventure. an adventure. It's just good that it's you- Down there and it was still an adventure. It's good you survived it. Yeah, so, I'm alive. So remember what I said before, uh, if, we, if either we get down there or not, it's gonna be an adventure either way. Yeah! Well, that was an adventure. That's true. This that was, was an, adventure. an adventure. It's just good that we did you... not make it down there and it was still an adventure. It's good you not survived. Not one I want to repeat. Rich no. Made, made Dude, that was back. the closest I think you've come to death I've, that I've I seen. I think that is the closest I've even seen anyone, my friend, Same. come to death. Yeah, oh, that made my God. heart drop, bro. Same. I did not like that. <laughs> like, I had to freeze for a second, like, fuck. Okay, what what do we do? Dude, my mind was racing. I'm like, okay, what's the next plan? That's on video, dude, right? Listen, yeah. if it wasn't for them, I don't know, Rich. Cam, dude. 
I got all my action cam. You got to fall everything. So just, I'm more thankful when we attempted a spot, it was in the reserve reservation area that someone had a camp. That there was actually someone there. Yeah. 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 If there was no one 100%. there, there might have been a 50-50 chance. Like. Exactly. And it's a good thing they were hella chill. Yeah. They went like... <sighs> oh my god. Rich. You got a lot of luck for surviving that one. Oh, <sighs> Rich. Wow. I don't know if any of us recorded it, but I know we have. No, because I had my backpack on. I had my camera down. I was in my backpack. I was climbing down too. But I wasn't going as fast as you. You went quick. You, you went didn't, really you didn't quick. have a recorded on? I was pulling my camera in the midst of you oh, ready to climb shit. down. I remember my eyes, what happened, I just don't yeah. have it recorded. We were lost fucking rich at the big sir. Alright, I'm gonna put my camera down. Pictures I need. <laughs> <laughs> oh Just my god. get it off carefully. Ooh. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Poor guy. Ah. Oh, be nice. Very grateful guy. Oh. I am alive at least. Did it hit here too? I don't know. I think oh, it just dripped back there. Yeah. Or did it just drip I down? Think, oh, I right. think it was just that one. You see spot. above right here? Or maybe two spots, I don't know. Nice. I can't see, yeah, you see all this. That's the, I saw that, but yeah. it's just dripped down there. Oh. Yeah, so you think it'll need stitches? Um, no, see that. It, it would have been bleeding right now, still. Bleeding, yeah. yeah. I think you could skip it, thick. but the only reason you might is if you ever want to be bald. <laughs> you want a big old gigantic scar. Okay, yeah. noted. But I think you'll be okay. Yeah. If you just leave it. It did stop bleeding very quick. Yeah. It down his face and it just stopped. I'm like, okay. That's pretty good. Let's He's see. Let's go. Let's see. Uh -huh. Under your chin. Nice. <laughs> Everywhere. Oh, now you don't look so scary. <sighs> <laughs> you go into a restaurant like, all right, can we order our food? <laughs> yeah. Okay, do you just want to keep a whole stack of these to clean up with? That would be kind of nice, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that probably hurts really bad. Oh, wait, now. Oh, yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna sting. Yeah. Your hands are just dirty. That's not a big deal. Oh. Wow. Who knew a first aid kit was so. <laughs> we didn't bring well, one. I have one in my car at all times. <laughs> oh, you're talking. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, it's gonna hurt a little. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh, sorry. Gotta clean it out though. We're gonna clean it and then we'll put some bandages on it. I'll look at my camera and see if I have any footage of it. Yeah. <laughs> of the fall? Uh, no, but he has an action cam. Yeah, I was worried. Oh, you have an action cam? Right uh, oh, yeah. It's yeah. worth it. Even the roping technique I saw you did, that was yeah. really nice. Like how oh. you wrapped it around and. Oh, yeah. she knew. We rock yeah. climb with our kids, so. Oh, that was oh, good. Yeah. Wow. Yosemite, okay, Yosemite is kind of scary. So is. I go, uh -huh. right. I go, I teach a watercolor and poetry class. Thank you, Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're okay. Thank yes. You, thank you. Yeah. Oh, my God. Enjoy your guys' trip. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, glad you're guys, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much again. Thank you again. Oh, nice. <sighs> oh my god. Dear god, if it wasn't for Kelly Rich. Dude, I think I'd be at the bottom of the ocean right now. Holy shit. I'm so oh. glad they, they came and helped. Yeah. Oh. Kelly came in clutch with the hammocks. Yeah. Because at first they were like, they don't have rope. No. You know, and they're like, oh, we only have like a dog thing. I but then they're like, let me look around the car and see if we can come up with something. Yeah. I and thought then... about buying some, but I didn't think we were going to need it with the kind of camping we were doing. Because we don't need to hang our clothes. We're I mean, we didn't know we were going to be doing something yeah. like this. You yeah. know, it's really like last thing we expected. Jesus Christ, Rich, you look so fucking destroyed. I mean, like, it? like I bro. <laughs> oh my god. Jumping in the river. <laughs> you have to jump in the river. Actually, so what about with his cuts? You think it'll be okay? Huh? His cuts and the bacteria? But. It's a little fucked up to pull my camera there while Rich is like. Me too, dying, but. But at the but same time, I was like, you should. He's like, I would uh, want that. I wanted yeah, that on camera. I knew, if you, I knew Rich would want that. I knew we all There's would nothing you can that. do anyway. Yeah. Wait, where's uh, where's my pants? Unless you're me grabbing sticks. <sighs> no. Yeah. Can you get the camera? Yeah. Oh. What does it look like? Yeah, it looks bruised, but it's not a bad cut. 
It's a very yeah? shallow cut. It's a very shallow cut. Okay, goodness. That's a fine. very good thing, cause the, it wasn't the yeah. it wasn't luckily the edge of the rock didn't hit you. It was the um. The there's flat a low, There's a few areas uh, I was bleeding from, so like right here. Yeah. Up here. Oh, multiple areas. Oh, because yeah. you got well, you got hit by one big rock and then like a bunch of like sides like of this, it. like you know, like golf yeah. ball size rocks. But nothing like steep, deep. That's nothing good. deep at all. So before this whole trip even went down. I was at Rich's place, and I told him, what kind of trouble do you think we're going to get into at the Big Sur? And he's like, I don't know, we're going to see what happens. And I guess today <laughs> was the day we found out what kind of trouble we got ourselves into. We almost Fucking went down to a bad spot. Rich went down a little too far and almost died, so... But, you know, you know bad ideas make good memories. And I always say that to everybody. It's kind of like my motto of this thing. Like, I'm going to have to tell everyone. <laughs> Dude, me too. I was like, I was like fuck. About like that, like how, how am I gonna feel? I'm gonna have to tell everyone what's gonna happen. Let me not I just can't see a life without Rich in this <laughs> world, man. I don't, I, I, I don't know. Oh, thanks, guys. It doesn't make sense. It wouldn't make any sense to me. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what's jumping around in the back? Water bottle. Our watermelon might be bad. It's soft on the outside. No new plan. Chill shit. Chill stuff. Yep. Yeah, let's go find where the tourists are. <laughs> <laughs> now we're doing touristy things because you almost died. Where you at, people? <laughs> now we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna drone that epic bridge and then we're gonna go back to our OG campsite and just have a blast. Yeah. You know? And we can get in trouble out there safely because there's no cliffs that for us to fall off of. But there are cliffs that can fall on us, so. It's not totally safe, but we take what we can get. So after everything that happened, um, we're gonna be closing off the day to Big Sur. We did a good amount, we did a lot today, but we just had to stop by and see these woods that we saw. It's beautiful, a lot of greenery. So go check it out. Oh, Where's the big boy? Oh yeah. A really big one. Yeah. The thing is, these, these trees, they could go really high. They can yeah. take a car in the middle, can't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's like tunnels with like There's that. tunnels that have Redwoods. Mm -hmm. Yo, Rich, so those are redwoods. Big, big ones? Yeah, the big, big ones. It was such a defeating feeling for all of us and almost losing a friend before our eyes. I'm very thankful we did not have to go through the traumatic feeling with losing Rich. I'd have to say huge props to Rich for keeping calm the entire time. Props to Radic for really helping out and getting Rich's bag up. But the biggest respect goes to Kelly because without her, I don't know how we would have got Rich back up. I just love being surrounded by this type of atmosphere. It's beautiful. It's nice just to be able to walk through and see and do small cool pit stops. And that's what I just love. Oh, that's awesome. Look at those rocks. I don't get it. Hold on, I'm gonna try another one. You gotta do it like this. Just... Man, shit. <laughs> oh, one more. One more. Fuck. Maybe it's just not deep enough. Or maybe I just don't know how to do it. We're actually looking at, so when we were driving, right? We were driving through the road. We just, we, were, we we saw this area and we're like, hey, we have to stop here. It looks really dope, let's go jump in. But it's just gone a lot colder now since the day is starting to end. So we're, we're just kind of taking it more chill, especially after everything happened. Wow. Yeah, it's big. Watch how Rack just walk out of the door. <laughs> Dude, this is sick. Dude, the type of greenery here I love. This is so epic. Like, it's like a different type of greenery. So this is your first time seeing a, bit, a redwood tree? Yeah. And it's hard to imagine it's hard to fathom, I guess, through pictures, but when you see it in person, you're like, wow, that's a big ass tree. <laughs> big ass tree. Look how you can't even see the end of it. <laughs> Take a look at this tree. I'm gonna show you guys this. All right, so I'm gonna take you guys, give you guys a good view of it first. So we got, so this is Rich, <laughs> and this is a tree. Wow. Keep in mind, I'm like seven foot four. Seven foot four? Yeah, so this tree's pretty big. 
It's a big boy. <laughs> this this is really cool. It's a nice random quick cool pit stop, I'd say. We're really just wandering around right now and there's a, a whole church that's all right here. This is well put together. And there's like a lot of like I don't even know what the hell. I gotta show you guys this. It's like a random, well put together place. What I'm really wondering is, what does this symbolize? Because this is a church. That's freaky. Pretty cool though. You know what that is? That guy? That's their Jesus. <laughs> Catholic mass entrance. Definitely a cool church to check out. But yeah, this is a great stop. Just super peaceful. Very calming. Really loving it. Oh. The monkey man. Cars in. <laughs> Wow, Radic. Not a bad shot. Not a bad shot. Well, let me see. What can I you do, like Radic? We could do better with moving, though. I feel we could do better with his positioning. It looked like he's about to ride the, the tree. <laughs> <laughs> the tree. It looks like you're raw dogging the tree. Yeah, dude. Damn. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How's it going there? It's going great. I like this. It's I'm going good? It down, but I like it. I like it. <laughs> what are you doing up there? Huh? What are you doing up there? I just like climbing trees. I do it on my pastime. You want a burger? Yeah. Sauce what right. up. <laughs> Imagine if people look out the church and like, what the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> For so long, I've always wanted to come here. And I'm finally here. Bixby's Bridge. We've seen Mixway, Mixway Falls. And it's such a vibe. Just be able to see this and experience it. Wow. We're gonna be ending the trip. Pretty nice. All right, so we just got some gauze pads and like bandages. Well, I mean, they, had, they didn't have band-aids or anything big enough for this, obviously. So we got some gauze pads. And I had this one before, it's just isopropyl alcohol. So I'm disinfecting this one more time before, and it's gonna <laughs> stink. So. <laughs> ah, oh, my oh God. wow, this hurts way more than that pad. Oh. Holy shit, I don't wanna do another spray. <laughs> ah. Oh, dear God. Dude, all this is just. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, one more up here. Okay, I just need to get it over with, ready? No, stop fucking in the car! <laughs> so we're setting up camp back at the old site. Tents fully set up. Inside there all the air mattresses and everything is all set up. So next just comes the fire and the vibe to chill. Jesus, this whole experience has been something else. Nothing we all expected, everything unplanned, and just going with the flow. But the one main objective, get to the Big Sur, which we did. Yo, what's up guys? We set up camp night three, our last night here on this trip, and almost my last night here on this planet. Oh, my God. Um, oh shoot. Yeah, yeah I so. I forgot about that. I, yeah, it's, it's, it only happened, what, like, I don't know. Um, it's midnight, so it only, ha only happened like eight hours ago, but it still feels like fresh in my mind and everything, because everything is just like, I don't know, it's just been re repeating in my head the whole night, and it's kind of like, I don't know, it's scary, but also really grateful for a lot of things, that the rock didn't <laughs> knock me out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
that I ended up finding a spot that was okay, even though one of those walks ended up falling too. It's just kind of crazy. Like every inch you move, a huge amount of things would just fall. <laughs> oh my yeah. Every little centimeter. You Whenever went. you guys came down, you could probably hear it in the audio on my action cam that I had with me. There were just so many pebbles sliding, yeah. sliding down over me. And I'm just like, please don't cause a landslide. Please don't cause this landslide. Because if it does, I just, I'm just going to keep falling. You're going to fall forever. Yeah. To the water. And who knows, like, what kind of rock. Like, think about it. It's like if you're falling down, you could hit the side of the rocks and go into the water. Yeah, then I'd be, I'd be straight dead. Yeah. They're like, there could have been so many different situations and circumstances if Rich kept going down. Yeah, there were a lot of ways that could have gone extremely wrong. Like, when I was trying to lift the backpack up, the backpack was so heavy, I couldn't, like... There was no way I could climb out of that that slippery with the backpack. There just wasn't any way. And so we were trying to get the backpack up first, but when we did, I think one of the rocks ended up slipping and that's what happened. Well, that's what made the rock slip because I put a lot of pressure down on it to try to lift the backpack up. So after that, I was kind of on edge because I was like, oh shit, like, <laughs> like if this, other rock that I'm standing on, or so sitting slash standing on, squatting on, kind of falls and I'm fucked. So uh, I ended up like putting my legs in a weird position to like not put too much pressure on that or whatever. But I swear it took like, I don't know, 10 minutes or something for the boys to find like a solution for the, for the backpack. And that whole time I'm just, I was, I'm squatting there on my legs. I felt like it like started to cramp a little bit and I'm like dude I cannot like cramp right now like it just it just yeah but luckily Radic found a big enough stick and they were able to get get the backpack up just barely by hooking one of the like parts of the stick onto the backpack strap and lifting it up basically and then I felt a lot better because I didn't have a backpack on me anymore. So I was like lighter. But at that point, I think the adrenaline started to wear off and the, I don't know, the oh shit of it all started to kick in. I was like, oh fuck. Hmm. But uh, yeah, then what? Kelly shows up like five, ten minutes later with the uh, hammock. The hammock, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that was, yeah, like that's, like that's, that made the climb so easy. Like it was so damn easy after that. It just, there's nowhere to put, like even though it was so easy, it was still not like extremely, it, it was so easy relatively to not climbing with that, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And like, even though I had the hammock to pull, pull on it or whatever, like, my feet have nowhere to, like, really go. It just keep. it just, like, like, it just slides. And yeah. so, yeah, it was just a really sketchy situation overall. But, again, another thing I'm grateful for, Kelly. She fucking saved my life with that hammock and also patched me up, cleaned, like, my wounds and shit. She had, like, all these, like, uh, what's it? Like, wet, wet wipes and stuff to, like, Again, help clean me up and everything. And the best part is, like, she was, like, totally chill about it. She wasn't, like, judgmental, like, all oh, these dumbass kids or whatever. She was actually really chill about it extremely nice. So that was cool. But one last thing I'm grateful for are these two guys right here. For not just, well, for being good friends, I guess. <laughs> Oh, finding ways to save my ass while I'm kind of just stranded on the, on a falling cliffside, I guess. I don't even know how to describe that area. But, yeah, yeah. Overall, glad I didn't die. <laughs> yeah. That was a really big team effort thing.
Yeah. Yeah. Off, yeah. Out, out. What were y'all's perspectives on that? That was my, I, I mean, guess, take of it. My worry was like, okay, so we latch onto the bag, great, but if this bag breaks as it's coming up, that's flying to Rich. And that's what I was so worried oh, was about. You didn't, did you think about that? No, because I knew that stick was strong because I tested but it. But what if it did break, you know? Then, yeah. That's why I was getting ready to catch it again. That was, a, that was like one thing I was really like paranoid about. When, for me, that was like, you know, 100% chance not going to happen because I wouldn't let it. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Like I, I made sure we put that backpack on correctly. Remember how many times you had to readjust it? Yeah. yeah. I wanted it to be like in that perfect spot where I knew like it was gonna be fine, like where there wasn't gonna be any chances. It was so hard to get that backpack hooked on. Like I balancing where you are. Yeah, cause I'm like I don't want to put too much pressure on the last rock I'm standing on. Your last moment. Oh my god. Did it feel like it was gonna give? It didn't feel great since the other one originally <laughs> felt like it wasn't gonna give and then just yeah. slipped oh my out God. I wonder if that's on video I think I have to look through the footage yeah I have to look through like my action camera to see what it caught because it was only a chest mount so mm -hmm. like or chest yeah so but yeah. you can definitely hear what's going on yeah we, we just dropped our cameras to save rich yeah. It would have been fun to film it, but like, <laughs> you, gotta, you, really, lost you. you really, yeah, you really gotta be in a moment of that. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, guys. If uh, I, w I wish there was a better, like, third-person angle or footage for to if see, we, um, but if I had a tripod, maybe I would just set up on a tripod so I have more hands myself. Yeah, but that and a drone hovering over the spot we were climbing. I'm sure Rich would love that. <laughs> Dude, that would have that would have uh, that, that. <laughs> that whole setup yeah. for the entire journey that would have been great it would have been like okay well <laughs> as long as it's caught on camera <laughs> yeah but yeah if I had a tripod yeah I don't see a problem to set up a tripod just to like get the shot yeah since it's just sitting there and I could focus my full percent yeah. of giving you this the support yeah speaking of what wasn't caught on camera the big ass rock that hit my head Oh my god. Dude, that's when I thought you were gonna die. I thought it was all over. Dude, I wish I could <laughs> see that from Radix's angle or John's ah, angle. Because dude, it was it, you grab you're grabbing at rocks all around you, right? Yeah. And you pulled one out and then a huge one just yeah, emerged just out emerged of nowhere. Dude, that's what confused me the most. I was like, where did that come it from? It came yeah. out of this the, when when the landslide happened, it just emerged out mm -hmm. of the sand. Dude. It just went, yeah. Right into the back of your head. Holy shit. And then I thought you were for sure, like, that rock was going to hit you I with enough yeah. momentum to maybe not knock you out, but at least, at like, least drag, drag you down. Drag me down, yeah. Yeah, just, like, push you. And I was like, oh, my God, I this think is so bad. The worst of the worst, the whole thing could have just went down. Like, oh, that yeah? whole yeah. section of land could just yeah. go down. That's how weak it was. Yeah. Everything could have dropped. Easily, yeah. easily. And that would have... Dude, dude, I don't know how you could have recovered from that. Because you're, you're falling on the more rocks. Mm -hmm. Like, solid rocks at that point, below you. Yeah. And then you're bouncing off that into the water that's, like, maybe... What, that water was crazy. Eight, the waves million. there, yeah. like, I, I'm i not a great swimmer, and that, I would have died right there. Yeah. Eight, yeah. ten-foot waves smashing into a cove. Yeah. There was it's, absolutely no way. You would just been, like, you literally just get smashed against the cove with it. That's the end type impact, right? Depends how you set yourself up for it. <laughs> There's ways to survive like a spot like that. You know, cliff jumpers do it all the time. Not easily in a situation you're trying to survive. <laughs> yeah. No, it's just it depends what your swimming level is and like if you know how to swim in the ocean well. Yeah. Because yeah. ocean swimming is different than lake swimming and river swimming. It's like if you try to fight it it will destroy you and it'll tire you out and it'll yeah. smash you up against rocks. But if you kind of flow with it and you let the water like push you around gently and you just kind of tread it, you will probably just like kind of float around in that area and you'll be fine. But it'll be really, you'll have to like swim out like gently, like slowly with the current, like let the current kind of pull you out a little bit and it'll push you back in. Then it's got to pull you out a little bit, push you back in. And you just do little steps like that until you're out. Huh. It's it would be a big process. You'd have to be able to swim for probably a good hour or two. What? Yeah. 
Jesus. I don't think my brain would be able to process that. It's no. Like yeah, I, I, yeah, I think I would be in panic mode. Yeah. Well, if you don't then. know it, then yeah. <laughs> yeah. The next step of what you could have done if you fell in the water is swim all the way around to the other cove, the one where it kind of closes up, where the waterfall is, because the waves there are a lot more gentle. Yeah, if I was on that side, it'd be fine. Yeah. Yeah, but holy. But eventually, I do want to try with a rope at some point. That would be a sick spot. It would be a sick spot. <laughs> yeah. Or just but. find another way down. Overall, I'm thankful nothing happened to Rich. Same. You know, like, yeah. it would really just been devastating to know that yeah. me and Radic just experienced one of our closest friends dropped to his death. That had been the most, like, scarring thing. Yeah. Having to tell all your friends, yeah. having to explain to his family the situation. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I'm more grateful that Kelly was there to, to be there apart with yeah. us and really supply the resources because we really just didn't have the right resources to help them. It was mine, Ryak's no. reach can only go so far. Yeah. And doing what we were doing, I just didn't trust the efforts of us in case we made it worse, yeah. you know? Like, especially when Kelly was making her way down. Yeah. I was worried, like, okay, before she came down, not knowing what she has, what if we make this whole situation a lot worse? And then she comes down, and she's like, I got the, that's the thing you need. Oh, yeah. my God. That would have been worse. That so was that's clutch. So I'm glad, like, yeah, we, if it really wasn't for Kelly being there, we would have definitely lost a really good friend today, and that would have been so sad. Yeah. I, I can't, I even thought about the ride back with Radic without Rich. That's just, that's just not right. Oh, my God. He, I no, literally thought about man. that. I like, wouldn't want to come back. <laughs> it's just... Would it? Yeah, I don't Jesus. know how you how that would even go yeah. together. No, it wouldn't yeah. go together. It'd feel empty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was it was it was crazy. I was sitting there and I'm like, you know, I'm at least used to heights, so that's no problem. But like, just being on that completely unstable place. I was like starting to panic, but then like I mean I knew I needed to keep calm because panicking does jack shit. But what's funny is I was taking the action camera, the the Go Three, and I like was gonna start to talk to the camera, but then I just stopped. Like I'm like, <laughs> what if, right? No, no, kind of, but like I I was I was kind of like. I didn't want to psych myself out. Yeah. If I started to talk to the camera and go like, uh, all right, this is a little sketchy, guys, but uh, like I would have, like yeah. I had to just keep on telling myself like it was going to be fine and just mm -hmm. focus on like where my feet and everything are placed and not like lose focus on that for as long as possible. Like I didn't even want to draw attention away to vlog. <laughs> like... Yeah, I tried to show it as best I could. I think I took it off a few times to show a few things, but then I'm like, oh my god, I'm, I'm just like, oh, yeah. I'm I'm just glad I, you know what, yeah, I mean, I am glad I didn't enter panic mode or freak out or whatever, but it was scary when I got hit by that rock landed on that I guess platform or you know the other rock and then reached to my head looked at my hand and there was just God. a mat I don't know if you guys were, saw my hand at that time but like there was oh. a lot of blood on my I hands I saw it and his head just slowly I felt down. Oh, dude. That's the I blood remember. dripping down my head oh dude so going back to the boulder hitting you once yeah. you found that ledge yeah. to stand on I was looking at you like I'm like how the hell does he look okay after getting like a giant <laughs> rock, like bigger than his head, smash against it? And then like two seconds later, the blood just goes down your cheek, yeah. your chin. I'm like, I'm like, oh my god, that better not bleed out or you're screwed. Yeah. And then it just stopped. I'm like, oh shoot, it was a shallow wound. Dude. You could just tell. I was like, oh. Thank, thank god. the white blood cells in my body. That so unfortunately the microphone actually died. But this summarizes up their whole conversation about the whole thing that happened today. 
So we're summarizing up the final night. We're all gonna get ready for bed. We're tired, it's three in the morning. We just kind of chilled around the campfire for the last few hours and kind of just chilled and vibed it. I think we're all pretty tired. We're all exhausted because it's just been a long trip. Especially when you're moving, packing up everything, resetting up, packing up everything, reset up, driving, it's, it's a lot. And then... <laughs> I have to avoid sleeping on my right side, actually. Oh, shoot, you're right. Yeah. So don't be offended if I don't big spoon you tonight. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. You did do it last night. I'm gonna miss it. Huh? You actually your head onto my shoulder. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> I need I need human contact somewhere. <laughs> I can't get it from my girlfriend. I gotta get it somewhere else. The homies. 